Welcome to my channel, The Flix Judge, where you will get detailed reviews and honest ratings of global movies and OTT series so that you can watch only the best content worthy of your time. Today we will review the Tamil movie Maharaja starring Vijay Sethpati. This is his 50th movie. The movie also has Anurag Kashyap, Mamta Mohandas and Natarajan Subramaniam in key roles. Movie is directed by Nithilan Saminathan. Maharaja is a revenge drama thriller. Vijay Sethupathi plays the titular character Maharaja. He lives as a single father running a small salon, bringing up his only daughter who is a teenager. His entire world revolves around her. They also have an old metal dustbin cheekily named Lakshmi, which also has a backstory. One day, Maharaja goes to a police station with a complaint that the earlier night, three masked robbers entered his home, beat him up and stole his prized possession Lakshmi. He wants the police to file an FIR and look for it immediately. Maharaja also declares that he will pay rupees 5 lakhs to the inspector if he finds the dustbin before the return of his daughter who was gone on a school trip. Initially, the police thought he was a crazy guy, but now they realize there may be more to the story and start suspecting that the dustbin may be something much more valuable and they may be able to milk it a lot more. Parallelly, we are also shown the character of Selvam, played by Anurag Kashyap. Selvam is a small-time electrician who has a wife and a baby daughter whom he dotes on. But he also has a dark side wherein he is the leader of a small gang of vicious thieves who loot, murder and also rape the victims. His family is unaware of this. As the story moves on, the two story tracks meet and certain things happen. So, what is the outcome? What happens to the dustbin? Why is Maharaja willing to do anything for a dustbin? The movie answers all these questions with a lot of twists and turns, emotional situations and a whole lot of gory, brutal violence. The main plus point of this movie, according to me, is the way the story is presented with a kind of non-linear editing, deceiving us into believing that the story is moving in a particular way, while actually it is not. While we start suspecting that things are not what they seem early on, many of our guesses would fall flat because the deception works pretty well. Full marks to the director for thinking of this structure and to the editor for a flawless editing which smoothly, without any confusion, manages to execute the director's vision. This is the core strength of the whole movie. An otherwise ordinary run-of-the-mill story gets transformed into a suspenseful thriller the suspense is not in guessing who the bad guy is, even though there is a little bit of that too. The bad guy is shown right from the first frame as a bad guy, but the suspense is in comprehending the deception about what exactly is happening. So, kudos to the director and the editor for this. Another aspect to this movie is a extreme and gory violence. It is almost to the level of a John Wick type movie. Fans of such violence will definitely like this movie. While John Wick goes on a rampage for a dog, Maharaja does this for a dustbin, or so it seems. These brutal violent fights are also filmed quite well. The sets, camera, lighting are all very good. The background score manages to capture the mood of the movie, overall technically a creditable effort. As far as acting goes, Vijay Sethupati has done his bit. His character is shown as a silent type, not many dialogues, but he has a lot more action scenes in this movie. His get-up and acting are also up to the mark, even though some of the scenes look a bit contrived and some scenes look like replays of his dialogue delivery in earlier movies. While the character of Selvam, played by Anurag Kashyap, is very different, unfortunately, the actor doesn't bring anything different to the table. Also, due to the language issues, his lip sync is horrible and in many scenes, the camera even shows his back while he is speaking. Natarajan Supramaniam as inspector is worth mentioning. All other characters are not that well fleshed out and have only bit parts. While I can understand Bharatiraja doing a cameo, I really do not understand the character of the PT teacher played by Mamta Mohandas. It has absolutely no bearing on the main story. One negative aspect is that once you figure out the major knots around the middle of the movie, it becomes a regular revenge drama of which we have literally seen thousands. Even the fights are not that unique and they are mostly run of the mill. Since the story is sorted out around the middle, the other twists and turns start looking a bit contrived just to keep our interest going. So, what is the verdict? 
Maharaja is a half decent revenge drama which stands out only because of the deceptive editing choice. If you are a fan of Vijay Sethupathi, then no questions. You should go and watch it. Even fans of gory action would like this movie. For a general audience, this could be a good time pass. However, you can choose to watch it on Netflix when it releases there. Nothing special about this movie. You can watch with your entire family if you want. I will give this a 5 out of 10 stars. See you again with another review. Until then, bye and happy viewing. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. I go through hours and hours of content so that you can watch only the very best ones in your precious free time. Thank you.